Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I create a recurring job using Hangfire, Simple Injector, and ASP.NET MVC that triggers a method with a user identifier as an input parameter? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer is using Hangfire version 1.6.12, Simple Injector version 4.1.6 and ASP.NET MVC 5. They want to set up a recurring job that calls a specific method, but they're encountering an activation exception related to their dependency injection setup. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To address the issue with your hang fire recurring job, we need to ensure that the dependencies are correctly registered and that the job is executed within an appropriate scope. First, let's modify the registration of the schedule service in your Bootstrapper class. Ensure that it is registered correctly with the simple injector container. Next, we need to ensure that the I unit of work is also registered correctly. This is crucial because the job execution context must have access to the required dependencies. Now, let's update the way we add the recurring job. Make sure to use the correct type for the job activator to ensure that it resolves the dependencies properly. Finally, remember to verify your container configuration. This will help catch any registration issues before running your application. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The exception indicates that the I unit of work is registered with a hybrid lifestyle, but it's being requested outside of an active scope. This typically happens when running on a background thread without an active web request or async scope. To resolve this issue, you can implement a custom job activator for Hangfire. This allows you to start and end a scope just before a job is created. Here's a sample implementation of the Simple Injector Job Activator. It manages the scope and resolves the job type correctly. In this implementation, a job scope is created to handle the life cycle of the container and ensure proper resolution of dependencies. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To integrate Hangfire with Simple Injector in an MVC application, a custom scope filter class is created. This class manages the lifecycle of dependencies during job execution. The onPerforming method begins a new scope, while onPerform disposes of it after the job completes. This ensures proper resource management. Finally, add the filter to the global hangfire configuration to activate it for all jobs.
And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have the good one. Cheers.